Okay, we're continuing with laws of exponents. Today we're doing division and negatives. So we're going to start with division, which is really, really easy, so just pay attention. When you are dividing, you are really subtracting the exponents. So it's x to the power of a minus b. You're just going to subtract this minus this, and that will give you the answer. Okay? Se restan. So let's practice. What's 5 minus 3? 5 minus 3 equals 2. So the answer is x to the power of 2. You're subtracting these two. Okay? So I think you guys can do these two. Go ahead and work them out. Pause the video. So if you pause the video, you should have already finished. What's 9 minus 2? 7. There's 7 more. If you're, if you're looking at it, there's a team of, this is, this is a team and this is a team. Which team is winning? The top team, right? Has more points. By how many more points? 7 more points. So we're doing, let me change the color. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So m to the power of 7. Over here, subtracting these two, 5 minus 2 equals 3. So a is to the power of 3. And then b, 5 minus 3 is 2. So it's b to the power of 2. Easy, right? Facile. Okay, then <clears throat> what if there's a number in the front? Right? What if there's a number in the front? Well, this, what is this called? This is division. So you're going to divide the coefficients. Divide the big numbers and then subtract the little numbers. Okay? Divide. So we're still going to do... We're going to do 6 divided by 2 in the calculator. Se dividen estos dos. So put it in the calculator, divide them. What do you get? Mm -hmm. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my big number in the front, el número grande enfrente, is going to be a 3. Okay? Because my answer was 3. But then... I'm going to subtract these two. Se restan. 5 minus 4 equals 1. So it's just x to the power of 1. Invisible 1. You don't have to put the 1 if you don't want to. Okay? What about these two? What do I do with these two? You divide them, right? So what's 14 divided by 7? 14 divided by 7 equals 2. So my big number is 2. And then you subtract these. This is a 1. And this is a 1. Right? If there's no number, it's a 1. So 3 minus 1. 2. So both of these are going to be 2. A is going to be square. And B is going to be square. Okay. What about this one right here? Divide. Negative 36 divided by 4. Negative 36 divided by 4 equals negative 9. Oops. My pen keeps messing up. Hold on. Negative 9. So it's going to be negative 9. Subtract, do the C, 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then subtract the D's, 5 minus 4 equals 1. So that is your answer. If you don't put a number, it's a 1, right? This is an imaginary 1 and this is an imaginary 1. 
pause the video, do the next three problems. Let's see if you get them um, correct. Okay, so hopefully you listened to me. You paused the video. You did those three. Now we're going to check them. So divide. Well, what did you get when you divided these two? Five, positive five, right? Then you subtract six minus four, x squared. Then you subtract five minus three, y squared. What about the z? You just bring it down, okay? Porque no hay otra. There's no other one. Over here, what do you get when you divide four and eight? Four divided by eight is 0.5. Hit the little fraction button. It's a half, one half, okay? So we're going to put one half, but here's how I want you to put it. I want you to put it one half like that. It's okay if you didn't, but I want you to start practicing that way. And then subtract these two, five minus one. What's five minus one? Four. So it's n to the fourth power, and it stays at the top because it's positive. Okay, which one has more, the top or the bottom? The top has more, so it has to stay up at the top. If you want me to, I can do it like this. We expand. There's five ends on top, right? And then there was one end on the bottom. These two cancel, and you're left with four at the top. That's why you have to leave it at the top, not at the bottom. Okay, let's do um, this one. What happened when you divided these two? Thirty-six divided by fifty-four, and you hit the fraction button. Two thirds, so two on top, three on bottom. Two on top three on bottom. Then there's more at the top, so it's going to stay at the top. What's four mi nine minus four? Five. So it's m to the fifth power on top. And then the ends, I have five minus two is three. There's more on top, right? So it stays on the top. Okay, so let's start on the, ne uh, the next page, which is the negative exponents. <coughs> what happens with the negative exponents is you can never have a negative exponent. You can never have this. That is a no-no. You cannot have that. So you have to fix it if you see it. And how you fix it is this is over 1 right now, so you bring it to the bottom. So it will be 1 over x and then change it to a positive a. So you just change the sign. Let's say for another example, let's say you have 1 over x to the negative a. Then you bring it back to the top, and it becomes x to the positive a. You just have to change it from bottom to top or from top to bottom. Okay? So for example, if I have x to the negative fifth, bring it to the bottom and make it a positive fifth. That's it. So this is at the top right now, because there's a line right there, an imaginary line. So bring it to the bottom, change the, the negative to a positive, and then there's a one left on top, imaginary one. Okay? Right here, the only one that you're moving to the bottom is this, not the three. The three stays on top. So I'm going to move the m to the negative 2 to the bottom and make it a positive 2. Okay? All you're doing is moving from top to bottom or from bottom to top and change the negatives to a positive. This one. The only one I'm moving to the bottom is this one. Es el único que voy a mover. The rest of them stay there. 
Just because this is a negative doesn't mean anything. It's the negative exponents that I cannot have. Negative exponents. So this one stays on top. Negative 7. This one stays on top. B to the third power. This one comes to the bottom. A to the fourth power. Okay? And we're going to practice some more. So down here, which one am I going to move in this one? The x, right? The x moves to the bottom. So I draw my line. What stays on top? The 3. What goes to the bottom? x to the positive 6. What about this one? The whole thing goes to the bottom because the whole thing is to the power of negative 9. So I'm going to draw a line and the whole thing goes to the bottom, positive 9. Okay, because it was in parentheses, so the whole thing moves to the bottom. What's left on top? An imaginary one. Okay, let's do this one right here. Which one's going to move? What's going to move? This one's going to move. Right? It's the only one that's going to move. Where is it going to move? To the top. Right? What am I going to do with these two numbers? What do I do with these two numbers? Divide. The big numbers divide. So 14 divided by 7. 14 divided by 7 is how much? 2. So my answer is going to be 2. Right? This goes to the top, so it's W4 and W2. But there, aren't these the same? They're multiplying, so what do I do with the exponents? You don't multiply them, you add them. You add them, so it's, I have four W's here, I have two W's here, so now I have two W to the sixth power. Okay? So these went up, y se juntaron con estas. These go up to the top, and then they just go together. What about the last problem? This is going to move up. And this is going to move where? Down. So they're going to flip. They're going to flip. So here's what I have. I have n to the positive 15. And I have n to the 4th to the positive 2. Everything's going to come together now. So what did we do yesterday with these two? A power to another power. What do you do? You multiply. A power to another power, you multiply. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2 equals 8. So at the bottom, I have n to the 8th power. At the top, I have n to the 15th power. What do I do with these two? Subtract. You subtract them. So 15 minus 8 is how much? 7. So I have n to the power of 7. Okay, we're just going to have to keep practicing and practicing. So I'm going to give you some delta math work to do right now so that you can practice. Really quickly, this one, 2 minus 8 is a negative 6. So it's left at the bottom. It's a positive 6 at the bottom and a 1 at the top. That's how you do it. Okay, because there's multiple.